have a nice paddle exercise watching the ferry come in there you guys can probably see it real nice uh, flat water day today Thanksgiving week just another beautiful day in Washington State not wearing my Jansley slave mask because I'm not a very good slave I'm a journeyman in two trades and I also have a few other talents but uh, people telling me to do stupid stuff is uh, not one of my strong points and there's a lot of people who like to comply to every ridiculous order that somebody gives them and, uh, that's not me it's best to be not be bound by earthly possessions and have things that hold you to this earth <clears throat> like bills if you're worried about having all kinds of material goods and anything that will bind you to the earth whether it's bad habits or people people that try to get you involved in their life that's not really the best thing for you. Life's too good. You don't need anything. If you have a good pair of boots, you can go backpacking. If you have a little something that floats, you can go for a paddle. And you don't have to worry about anything. The Bible says don't worry. So that's what I do. There's just too much to do in a day to think about worrying about something. Whenever you see an old person, if they're old and they're healthy, well, you should probably listen to them because most people don't get healthy. Only 1% of people over 60 aren't on some kind of medication. So I'm in the top 1%. I, I don't have a single ache and pain in my body. I can, ro I can Eskimo roll this kayak. I can ride a full-on dirt bike. There's so many, I have really no limitations on my body that I couldn't do when I was 20. I don't have any restriction at all. I, it's great to be healthy. My brain is functioning as good as it ever did. Which that's not saying much, but you can be healthy. You can be calm and relaxed and not have any worries. And that's a good way to live. And the only way you can do that is read the Bible, pray, be born again. And everything else is temporary. It's all temporary. So take your life with a grain of salt. The only thing you really got to worry about is being born again. Get saved and you won't have to worry about it. So the Bible says you're saved by grace through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. So when you want, want to go to heaven, get down on your knees somewhere or riding your motorcycle or paddling your kayak and you say, Lord, I want to be saved. 
I know that I need to be saved. There's no way for me to get to heaven. Just say anything you want. But you realize that at that point, you, you've given your life to Jesus. He paid the price that you couldn't pay. He, his blood was shed for your sin. And there's only one way, and that's Jesus. There's no Frank Sinatra. There's no doing it your way. You do it God's way, and then that's that's it. It's His. Your life is His from then on. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Live or die. I'm out here in this Puget Sound. Water's probably about 45 degrees. I'm out here in the middle. I'm pretty confident of my abilities in the boat. But if I was to go in right now, that would be that'd be the end of me. I'd last about 10 minutes. I'm not worried about it. I don't worry about anything like that. I ride my dirt bike all by myself way up in the woods. I don't worry about a thing. Sometimes people try to draw you in to their problems, but it's just dumb. You can care about people, but don't let them draw you in to their problems. Anyway, if you're if you were my kid or if you were a young person, this is, these would be the things I'd be telling you. So thanks to uh, GoPro and the internet, you know I can kind of record some of these things. And, uh, nobody ever told me any of this stuff. I just figured it out on my own. So you can avoid a lot of problems if you just follow the Bible. The Bible says that uh, John said in the Bible that people don't want to come into the light because their deeds are dark. So if you love, if you love darkness, you're, you don't want to become into the light. So that's why people don't come into the light. And if you love ice cream more than you love being healthy, then that's, that's your choice. You can do that. But the problem is, you can be fat and sick and die, and that's really no big deal. But if you, if you reject God's gift, then that is a big deal.